commit to the Lord whatever you do, and he will establish your plans. Proverbs 16, verse 3. What's good, YouTube? It's Ciara LaShawn, and I'm with... What's Dante! up, everyone? <laughs> or Dante. Dante. You guys can call me Dante. Yeah, y'all call him Dante, but Dante is kind of cool because, like, they... But I call him that, not you. First of all, Dante went to Boulay with me, which is my international conference for Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated, and he went with me this Sunday. Now, this was my second Boulay since I was initiated, but this was his first Boulay, and tell us about that experience, babe. Where did we go, and how much fun did we have? So, Boulay 2018 for AKA was um, in Houston, Texas. It was, uh, it was fun. We drove there from Georgia so oh, Lord. <laughs> that was a nice ten and a half hour ride there was a lot of bonding there was a lot of uh, quality time spent on that ride there to Houston <laughs> Texas <laughs> come the time when we got to Houston we found out that we're in love with the city of Houston it's such yeah. a beautiful place it's so clean and everybody's so nice it's just like a, a nice little metropolis filled with 2.3 million people taking her to her uh, her boule events was uh, a different experience <laughs> <laughs> I never seen so much pink and green in my life but um, colors colors aside AKAs are they're beautiful people I say that because Aww. of uh, what they stand for you see when I first met Ciara um, I was really into community service I still am I, I mean she was really into community service as well so she told me that she thought that was interesting that I'm interested in serving the community and that's kind of where we hit it off so um, come to find out that's one of the things that Alpha Kappa Alpha stands for is community service and serving your community so we went there and um, that just reaffirmed everything that they that they believe in. I think everything that the sorority does to the people who, who joined is amazing. I mean, it really, mm -hmm. it can really transform somebody. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, Alpha Kappa Alpha is very, it, it definitely can transform someone and help grow someone and help build someone because I've grown so much in my own sorority. Like my first boule, y'all, my first international conference, I've I spoke. Um, I was on the dais. I, I spoke and I, I I created the VIP passes for, for um, some of the events. So I got to be involved a lot. And that wasn't just like a one-time thing, but it built something inside of me, which was confidence. If you can speak in front of thousands of people, I mean, like now, it, it, I can do that. It gave me so much confidence even in the moment when I was so nervous, but they, they gave me a platform and not only has AKA given me the platform at Boulay, but also I, I it opened up doors for other opportunities. I got a regional position in my sorority after speaking at Boulay. Oh, and then I was selected as a leadership fellow for 2017 and that was an amazing experience. So yeah, AKA has been awesome, awesome for me. But I want to ask Dante, oh baby, you sweating though. I want to ask Dante, what's it like dating an AKA? So, we're going to talk about some of the, um, I guess, what is it like dating an AKA and just really comparing it to the stereotypes of what people believe about dating someone that's in a Greek letter organization, especially Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. So yeah, babe. <laughs> I mean, um, you're the same person that I you're the same person that I liked from the very beginning. Um, so I really don't see a difference between dating Ciara versus dating an AKA because you are who you are. I like that mm -hmm. a lot. I guess I could talk about um, what she's not. Um, of course, you're you're very beautiful, but there's a lot of stereotypes about Alpha Cup Alphas out there. Um, one of those stereotypes are, well, everybody who joins uh, AKA has to be pretty, they have to be beautiful. Clearly she's beautiful. Another stereotype that people say about AKAs is that um, they're bougie. They're, 
they're stuck up they're they're snotty if you will um that is not true i mean she is probably one of the most humble people that i know and what? i mean she inspires me to be more humble <laughs> people also think that um greeks in general um are all about greek life they're all about uh partying they're all about uh that social atmosphere and um i learned dating cr that's not that's not true i mean she's not so much of a party person um she's more um she's more so of a of a of a server um she's into serving her community and um living right she's into uh following christ and uh she's she's about her business <laughs> um oh, thanks. so i must say after going to boule um i got a completely different idea of what aka is all about i mean greek life hardly but there's so much more to it than than just parties and social mm -hmm. events i mean um you go out and you help people you really make a difference in the world and uh, they have a mission to change the world for the better um for example they're very involved in in politics uh they're into getting people out there and voting and um they're into making changes positive changes in the community and i think that's awesome um also this past weekend we went to piedmont park here in atlanta and um i've volunteered with her organization her sorority um and we served the community together i mean it was a it was a fun experience I really, I really like what um, AKA is all about. So one other thing that I love um, about Ciara is that she's a natural born leader. She's always looking for um, a place to lead within her sorority, especially um, in the spiritual aspect of things. With that being said, um, dating an AKA, if you date an AKA, you can expect to um, date somebody who wants nothing but the best out of you and themselves. I'm so grateful for Dante and I just want to say like for those of you who are AKAs or I know that there might be people who are interested in becoming a member of my organization that's watching this or there could be guys that are watching this and I just really want to um, honor Dante because he's been so supportive. Um, he went all the way to Texas with me to Boule and we had a good time and he found fun for himself even though I was in sessions a lot like he went down to the beach and he just found things to do and he didn't have really a bad attitude about it and so we had a good time on our trip and he's just so supportive and it wasn't really like annoyed like oh my gosh why am I going all the way to Texas but it was kind of like a vacation for both of us and even back here home in Atlanta we found ways to serve together in my sorority where there there might be opportunities or there have been opportunities for him to help serve too while I'm serving. And so I'm really grateful that he's helping serve me to serve my organization. And um, that's a, really a blessing to have someone that supports what you love and understands that you love, why you love what you love. Like he understands why I love what I love and he's so very supportive about that. So. I'm grateful and I'm grateful that for all the good things that he said about my sorority and about me and that's really what it's all about Alpha Kappa Alpha we're not here to um, think that we're better than anybody we're we really just want the absolute best for our community for the, our home community but also for our nation and ultimately for our world we want the absolute best and we want fairness and we want justice and we we want we want to serve those who are who who are um in lesser need and that's why we say we're of service to all mankind and so it's good to have somebody who sees that and understands that and understands that desire of my heart and supports that so yeah thank you and thank you guys so much for watching um yeah we're gonna go hop in the pool now <laughs> bye <laughs>